first be reconciled to your brother or sister and then come and offer your gift. It's in Matthew chapter 5, verse 24. Have you ever eaten humble pie? No, it's not a delicacy we base during the lockdown like banana bread. It is, of course, a saying that means making a humble apology and accept humiliation. Yes, isn't it hard to make an apology when we are wrong? But it's even harder to make an apology when we are in the right. In the reading today from St. Matthew's Gospel, part of the Sermon on the Mount, it suggests that even if we are right, we still have to be reconciled with our brother or sister or neighbor in any dispute. And we have to make the first move even if it means we've got to be humiliated. Or as we sometimes put it, we've got to come down from our high horse and endeavor to be reconciled with one another. Because if we do not reconcile with one another, we have no right to worship God. That is the sad fact. Now we may want to say like the house of Israel as recorded in the Old Testament reading from Ezekiel today, that the way of the Lord is unfair. And the world may think that. But Jesus said that we must love one another as he loved us. And how did Jesus love? Well, we know that he mingled with the outcast of society, the publicans and the sinners, people you wouldn't normally associate with. And how did he love his disciples? Well, firstly, he had immense patience with them, with their faults their ignorance, their unfaithfulness, and their seemingly slow learning to understand. And yet he showed them considerable kindness right up to the end. And that is the way we have to love others despite the fact that often they may frustrate and annoy us. One of the great aspects of the lockdown has been the love shown by neighbor to neighbor, by bringing gifts or by going that extra mile to help one another. Perhaps it's because we have a little more time in our hands and we're not rushing to and fro, hither and thither. But the quest big question is, will it last once the lockdown is over? Will we revert to our old ways of ignoring our neighbors once? Hopefully not. May our love be to them as the recent advert for the unpust love stand put it, from our hearts to their hearts, especially those to whom we need to reconcile. Let us pray. Living Lord, draw near in love and open our hearts to all the ways you are at work, especially in our neighbors. Make us realize all are created in your image. 
May we be reconciled to our brothers, our sisters, and our neighbors, that we may be able to worship you aright in spirit and in truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living Lord, may we always remember the poor who long to hear good news. Give us the will to strengthen and help them and all those in need by acts of generous love. Merciful Father, accept these our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.